Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. We got a championship game. Listen, when I saw Coach Joni Taylor putting her arms up, like I wanted to do that. Like, yeah, let's go. I'm yeah. excited. It was hype in Greenville today. Let's take a look at everything. 27 points, 20 points, 19 points. She's really showing up ready to play. I am so excited to see them play again on Sunday. Before we get out of here, Texas A&M, their season's not over. They right. might be done right. in Greenville, but they won the SEC regular season. Expectations for them? High expectations. The, the thing about Texas A&M and the thing about the SEC is you scout for everybody. Everybody knows everybody. Texas A&M, a team that hasn't played them in the NCAA tournament, they are in for a rude awakening. This is a talented team, top to bottom. They've got a sniper shooter. They've got a point guard that leads them. They've got inside presence. Aaliyah Wilson is just a straight-up athlete. India Jones is such a strong utility player with so much perseverance. It's great. I think a lot of people out in Aggie land would say that they're being slept on. So oh, yeah. I think they have a lot to prove coming Absolutely. up in the postseason. Well, who would Georgia trophy might need to buy property in Columbia, <laughs> South Carolina? Welcome in Drea Carter, Alyssa Lang here with you. What an impressive performance by South Carolina yet again. I mean, the Gamecocks just came out ready to play. They withstood Georgia runs. Georgia was so tough and physical on the defensive end and the Gamecocks just kept going at them. So impressed with their performance. Let's see exactly how it went down in this 2021 SEC and sneak into it. What do you think for the SEC this year? Listen, I think the SEC should get so many teams in. I think yeah. Ole Miss should be in. I think LSU should be in. If you think about LSU and the net top 25 wins that they have and, and the way that they started peaking at the end. And Kayla Pointer is the type of player that I want to see in the NCAA tournament. She is one of the best point guards in the nation. Ole Miss, name two teams yeah. on the bubble that are playing better right now than Ole Miss and LSU. You know, Coach Gary Blair said, we got to fight for LSU. We got to fight for our teams. I want to see all of them in there. It's crazy to think about the SEC this year and the tournament championship that we just saw. There was no A&M. There was no Kentucky. There were so many talented teams who could have been there on Sunday. Who do you think maybe has the best chance of making a Final Four this year? Oh, man, it's it's so it's hard. hard. It's so hard. You know, with Georgia, the way they play their defense and the way they're fearless and relentless, the Q Morris and her leadership, Jenna Stady, their seniors, then Texas A&M, they execute extremely well, and they're talented top to bottom. Kentucky's got a superstar in Ryan Howard. In South Carolina, they're peaking. We've seen how good they are. Tennessee, really, the list goes on and on because no teams in the nation have prepared for the SEC teams right. the way that they prepare for each other. You got Arkansas, a team that can yeah. shoot the lights out from the three-point line, beat UConn earlier Baylor in the regular earlier. season. Baylor earlier, I mean, it's, you know. it's insane to think we, about the talent in this conference.